What's up, guys? Um, just here listening to a little bit of music, uh, watching a little bit of TV. I got uh, a movie Pacific Rim on. Came out a couple years ago. It's pretty cool. I like it. But um, I'm making this video because I had something happened to me last night that I haven't had happen to me and I don't know since 2008 so what that was what year are we in so like 13 years almost 12 13 years um And whenever it happened to me in 2008, I was going through a, a breakup with the, the girl I was with all throughout high school, you know, well, starting out middle school and high school. I mean, Christ, we were together for, you know, five years. And um, <coughs> I thought it was just... I thought it was just stress. Well, because it, it hasn't happened really since then. So, um, it was kind of strange. Uh, and then it happened to me last night, which out of the blue. I mean, I don't have much stress or anything going through and you know going on in my life i'm not going through a breakup i don't i really don't know what brought this on um but last night for the first time like i said since 2000 i believe it was 2008 um i experienced sleep paralysis and uh uh like I, it felt like I was dreaming, but I swear I was awake. And um, it it was weird, cause like, if I was dreaming, it what I seen, I I I don't know, um. If it was a dream, this is what happened. I was laying in bed. My fiance was laying right directly beside me. The dog was laying it, that, you know, beside her in the middle of us. The, was, the cat was laying at the foot of the bed. And this, uh, I can only describe her as a hag. Just out of nowhere, like I, I seen I seen her hand come up on the bed. Now, mind you, you can't get underneath our bed. Like there's shelves that sit underneath the bed. It, it's it's a closed in bottom. You know you can, you cannot nothing can get under the bed. I mean it, there's there's a little gap there from the the foot of the mattress to where the, the the bottom of the bed actually is and it's about it's roughly about a foot and a half i mean literally the, the dog the animals can fit under there that's it but this this lady just she I swear to God, she looked like she just got out of a sewer or something like that. It, it was so, it, she was disgusting. And she like, she started crawling on the bed and, and crawling, like she, she crawled up my legs and like, like started crawling up my, like my torso. 
and before she got like fully and like like fully up like she got like her head got to like my chest area and that's whenever I I came to or woke up I, I don't I don't know I don't know what it was but it, she was gone and I you know sat straight up in a bed it tried to catch my breath because I could it felt like I couldn't breathe uh, and it, it, it just I don't know it was it was one of the weirdest things I've I've ever seen I've ever had happen to me and Last last week I made that video of saying that I have been getting woke up at 3 o'clock in the morning every morning. Well, since I made that video, I've been getting woken up at 1.28 in the morning ever since that video. Literally, 1.28 every single morning. I have no idea why. And... Most of the time, I'm up until 4 or 5 in the morning, and then I finally fall back asleep. But that, that dream, what, or, or I hope it was a dream, was absolutely terrifying. Now, last night, before we went to bed, we watched The New Wrong Turn, and that's, you know, so I don't, it wasn't anything I watched that, that you know, got my mind to start racing. I just, I don't understand what it was. It was terrifying. And um, I do know before before I started or before I fell asleep, I was playing with a spirit box app that I downloaded uh, let me see if I can find it it's that uh, necrophonic app um, hold on this phone there it is it's that one it's the one that that Omar uses Omar gosh I was messing with that one and actually a couple other ones that I that I downloaded a while ago uh, the paranormal live ghost box every a lot of people were saying that it just it won't actually go live or whatever well I it went live for me yesterday and then the uh hack shack uh x8 free spirit box thing and then there's another one the itc box 2 and then the sgk1 i was messing with those and then after that i you know after i messed with those i fell asleep <clears throat> now, whenever I was messing with, I was, I wasn't actually doing uh, anything. I wasn't doing a session. A session. I just wanted to make sure that they worked. So I hooked it up to my. I have a little Bluetooth speaker, and I hooked it up to that to make sure that they were working because this phone is messed up. 
if you try to have any sound come out of the speakers, if it's not hooked up to, to you know, a Bluetooth speaker, if you try using this phone with its speakers, the phone will freeze up and you literally have to take the battery out in order to get it to shut off. So, but as I'm messing with it, the, uh, I, the Necrophonic, I believe that's what it was. As soon as I turned it on, so, whatever, something said my name, like, like I, I hit, I hit start session and literally three seconds in, it said Joe. And I, I looked at my fiance and she looked at me and she asked me, she was like, did that thing just say your name? And I'm like, yeah, it did. I didn't say anything. I didn't ask it any questions. I literally just turned, I turned every single one of them on just to make sure that they all worked. So I don't know what's going on, but uh, since, since that happened last night, you know, I, I, I mean, I've been up. I did finally fall back asleep. I slept till about 11.30. But it, pretty much ever since I woke up, ever since, ever since the dream, I think, I just, I feel like there's something around me. Like I feel, I feel something. I don't feel like I'm alone right now. I'm the only one in the house except for the animals, but I don't, I, I don't feel like I'm alone at all. I don't, I don't understand it. I don't get it, but I know that there's people out there that, that experienced, you know, the sleep paralysis and supposedly the hag From what I seen, because I did a little research on it this morning, supposedly from what I read, if you see the hag, she's like some kind of uh, for I don't know. She's some kind of some people call her a succubus. Some people just call her a flat out demon, and she's like she comes to try to kill you, which. Or, or drive you drive you crazy so you kill yourself or something I I don't know all I know it's it's fucking weird and it freaked me out real bad this morning so I figured I would share share this with everybody um you know just just to try to document it uh because there's been there's been some shit going on the last couple weeks I've noticed and it's getting worse it's only getting worse and it seems like since I met up with my family and they told me that it runs in my in, you know Everything being as sensitive and empath, whatever it, it it all run every everything runs in my on on their side of the family, and it seems like ever since then, it's. I don't know if it's just because now I know that I'm not alone in in the family. It seems like it's getting, gradually worse. And more and more stuff is happening. So, I don't know. But I just, I wanted to share this. I wanted to let everybody know kind of what's going on. And um, I'll, I'll keep you guys posted. And if anything else happens, I'll let you know. I, I might do a, a, a little bit of a, ses a session in the house tonight. Um, cause I also, I also think I've seen 
something in the mirror this morning, too. Um, actually, it was in broad fucking daylight. I came out here to get something to drink. And I heard something in the room where the mirror is. And whenever I went in, I, I walked completely in front of the mirror. And I just so happened to look, look at it. And it looked like there was some kind of weird, misty shadow thing behind me. And I turned around and there's nothing there. So... I don't know. I don't know what's going on. All I know is I feel like I'm losing my mind. So. Anyways, I will. I'll talk to you guys later.